Good afternoon, Dr. Nosaiba and fellow friends. Today, we will share about the risk management from the Toyota Motor Corporation. Toyota Company is based on Nagoya, Japan in 1937. It is the largest car manufacturer surpassing the General Motors in 2008. So, Toyota known because of their longevity and dependableness quality, value, and also the engineering. Toyota vision is to start your impossible. Toyota principle is to contribute to the event of a society through manufacture of vehicle. Toyota also expanded from automaker to other function such as Toyota housing operation, financial services, commu communication, marine vehicle and also biotechnology so risk of the toyota is three core pillar of an industry safety program which is compliance culture and capital next is the cyber attack which is including the toyota customer personal information my name is norfa isabeti masari and i would like to present about risk management framework in 2019, an international technical advisor group created the ISO 3100 system to resolve the problem of a lack of ERM framework and principles. ISO 1000 offers a structure for implementing systematic ERM activities in the organization and provide a conceptual approach. If Toyota standards are implemented and maintained in according with the international standard, risk management law and organization for example, uh, to increase the probability of achievement goals, uh, to provide activity management, to recognize the need for risk assessment and treatment within the organization, to enhance the identification of opportunities uh, and risk, to comply with applicable legal standard, then uh, to increase confidence and trust, build stable decisions making and planning for the mission, strengthen control, assign and use risk management. Next, the control of loss and incident must be improved. Loss should be minimized and organizational learning improved. 101027 document was subsequently also released to assist organization with different techniques of risk evaluation. Good afternoon, Dr. Nusaiba and my fellow friends. I am Liang Zili. I will continue to present about risk architecture of Toyota. As we know, Toyota is a multinational corporation. Chief Risk Officer is an important position to control and prevent any risk happen in every department. Based on the implementation framework show that respective regional, respective head office section and respective companies are collaborate with each other under Chief Risk Officer. This collaboration is prevented missing any risk for registration and clearly understand all the risk comprehensive. The position of collect information is from bottom to up to combine all the risks for doing report. Hi doctor, my name is Fan Miao and I'm going to present from slide 5 to slide 7 which is the risk reporting flowchart of Toyota and the scoring skills. So for the risk reporting flowchart when the hazard is identified in Toyota, the related personnel will need to report or notify the immediate supervisor or manager or report hazard online in Toyota risk reporting system. In consultation with relevant IT engineers and production workers, if required, the WHS unit or the Work Health Safety Unit will need to assess the risk and determine corrective action. After the WHS unit in implement corrective actions, the hazard will be controlled. If the hazard is not controlled, the WHS unit will need to identify alternative corrective action until the hazard is controlled. After the hazard is controlled, WHS unit will need to review the effectiveness of corrective actions. Then the hazard is controlled. For the for the scoring skills, likelihood, the rating is from 1 to 5 and 1 is very unlikely, 2 is unlikely, 3 is possible, 4 is likely, 5 is almost certain. 
for the rating one of likelihood is unlikely to occur once every five to ten years. For the unlikely is probable to occur every two to five years. For possible is likely to occur every one to two years. For likely is certain to occur once or more per year. For almost certain is almost certain to occur more than 10 times per year. For scoring skills for the significance, number one is rating, number one is incidental, two is minor, three is moderate, four is major, and five is catastrophic. Thank you. Hi, I'm Danyani. I will continue to present about the risk assessment. In risk assessment, we define that different types of risk occur during the operation of Toyota. We categorize four types of risk, which is hazard risk, business risk, financial risk, and comprise risk. After that, we assess all the risks by using risk assessment metric and we find out legal proceeding, risk negative impact on profitability, and risk of fuel shortage are the top three of the risks in Toyota Motor Corporation. Last, risk heat map show the level of the risk as a signal to notice that which risk need to surface. Good day to Dr. Nusaiba and my fellow friends. I am Nara Javiti Mamalasia. We continue about the response of Toyota. The first one is risk of natural and engineering event. As you all know, it also includes the disruption risk management. The first one is major natural uh, satastrophes to power plants under operational contingency. Second is risk of brand imagery to the inability to maintain and develop the brand image should also include the improved quality and safety operation and the implement of the IT structure. That is risk innovation that meets customer demand on a timely basis. It also includes the managed innovation. As you all know, DPS or Toyota Motor Corporation has become one of the giant corporations in the world for its risk of validity in demand. The organization will boost R&D investment for the future in their business. Five, if competitive risk include diversification that reduce the risk. Six is reduce risk of currency and interest rate fluctuation. It also include the type of foreign exchange and risk of posture. It also is very important to manage the earn and unexpected loss. Seven is risk of negative impact of profitability. The first one is market risk include the Commodity risk, currency risk, interest rate, and flood inflammation risk. It also known as a systematic risk. It is risk of ability to raise up the capital. It include the financial market and economic risk. Now, in governmental regulation risk, it also improve their quality based on the employee, the quality of good and says to to approach the customer. Then, is like a proceeding include the copyright net. Copyright notice and the trademark of the Toyota Motor Corporation. 11 is risk of uh, labor strikes. It also in participate in the various Japan and abroad. And it also has a significant restriction in the different industries in the field. 12 is risk of interaction, social infrastructure, include the dis dispute risk. It also occur when the owner, consumer, and the partner cause the dis disturbance to their business. The thing is risk of the fuel shortage. As you all know, Toyota has a hydrogen fuel safe. And the thing is risk of the terrorism. It also has a risk management system. It developed by the, the organization to comprehensive to handle the Toyota. Last but not least, we had learned risk management lesson from Toyota. First and foremost, risk management provides technique to prevent risk in a company. It can identify and analyze the risk to prevent the consequences of the result such as risk assessment metric and risk heat map. Secondly, we can understand the flow of risk management because every department may contribute some effort risk management. Third, we can recognize of limitation in risk management based on the company risk appetite and risk capacity. Fourth is risk management is a full system spectrum for managed risk to provide large imagination and bold thinking when encountering risk. Lastly, risk management is a good fit in plan because it needs to be tested frequently and vigorously to ensure they are relevant. Thank you.